Hello fellow readers. Today we're going to be reading an alphabet book, A Special Request by Tatiana, one of my favorite people in the whole world. She would like to see some ABC's books. And today we're going to be reading Jumbo means hello. A Swahili alphabet book. So it's going to be the alphabet of the Swahili language. Some facts about the Swahili language. It's spoken across more of Africa than any other language. In fact, it is the language of about 45 million people. All right, so let's get into it. A is for Arusi. Arusi is a wedding. When two people marry, it is an important event for their village as well as for their families. It is celebrated with drumming, dancing, and much food for all. Everybody celebrating the wedding. B is for Baba. Baba means father. Parents teach their children the things they will need to know when they are grown. The father teaches his sons to build the home and to make tools. You can see the father teaching his son. C is for Chakula. Chakula is food. In villages, the people grow most of their food. Together, many families raise crops like corn, green vegetables, fruits, and nuts, and divide the harvest. Here they are, farming their crops. D is for Dawa. Dawa is medicine. Africans have always had many nature cures for illnesses. Certain herbs are used to make a tea for reducing fever. Other herbs help cure a stomach ache or cold. You can see here they're making medicine from natural herbs. Dawa is medicine. E is for embe. Embe is a mango and I love mangoes. If you haven't tried a mango, I would go ask right now. This sweet juicy fruit found along the East African coast is curvy shaped and golden in color. Mangoes in other areas are oval or round with green, red, or gold skin. Embe is a mango. F is for fagio. Fagio means broom. Made from long straws tied near one end, brooms are used to sweep the floors of the home and the smooth clay grounds around the homestand. Here they are with the fagio. Fagio means broom. G is for Gudulia. Gudulia is a clay jar. Jars of clay are made by a potter. They are used for keeping water, for cooking and washing, or for storing grain for the next planting season. You can see there's a Gudulia right there. Gudu oh, and also you can see the potter here creating a new Gudulia, a clay jar. H is for Hishima. Hishima means respect. Children are taught early to show respect for adults and older children. In many communities, it is the custom for even grown people to kneel when greeting an older person. And as you can see, they are showing respect to their elders by kneeling during the greeting. I is for Ibada. Ibada means worship. Africans worship God in many ways. The Muslim religion is one of the most widespread in Eastern Africa. I is for Ibada, which means worship. J is for, you guessed it, Jambo. Jambo means hello. The formal way to say it is Hujambo. With these words, the long courteous greeting begins. As you can see, they are greeting each other with a handshake and a hujambo. K is for karibo. Karibo means welcome. A caller says hodi, which means may I come in? The reply is always karibo. Karibo, whether it is a relative, friend, or stranger. As you can see, he had a guest who asked, may I come in, Hodi? And he said, Karibo. 
L is for Lipo. Lipo is payment. At the marketplace, goods are sold using coins and paper money. In some markets, payment is one item traded for another. L is for Lipo, which means payment. And here you are at the market. M is for Mama, which means, you guessed it, mother. The mother teaches her daughters homemaking skills like grinding corn, cooking, and making handicrafts. She teaches both daughters and sons to help care for the younger children. M is for Mama. And we also say Mama in the English language. So we share a word with the Swahili language, Mama. Noma. N is for Noma. Noma is drum and dance. Noma means both drum and dance. So as dance, as drumming and dancing are commonly done together, nowadays a party with modern music and dancing is also a Noma. Here you can see everybody dancing. You see the drummer drumming? This is a Noma. Uh oh. O is for Oteo. Oteo is an ambush. Most of the big cats of Africa ambush their prey from the trees. The lion and cheetah lie low in the tall grass and spring upon a grazing zebra or hartebeest. Oteo is an ambush. And you can see the lion and the cheetah waiting in the tall grass to do an oteo, an ambush. P is for Punda. Punda is a donkey. The donkey is an important animal to farmers of some areas. Donkeys transport the harvested crops from the farmlands to the homesteads. P is for Punda and Punda is a donkey, a very important animal. R is for Rafiki. Rafiki is a friend. And if you've seen a certain movie, you know that Rafiki was a great friend to a young lion named Simba. Children do more than play with one another. Together, friends do chores like tending cattle or fetching water from the river. Rafiki is a friend. S is for Shule. Shule is school. Because the climate is warm, many country schools hold classes outdoors. How would you like school to be outdoors? You get to play in the grass, but you still have to learn. But in the rainy season, the classes must meet inside the school building. T is for Tembo. Tembo is an elephant. Across the savanna lands, elephant herds move in search of food and water. With other animals of the plains, they gather around the water hole to drink and bathe. It's amazing how the water holes, many different animals come together. U is for Uzuri. Uzuri means beauty. Beauty means different things in different parts of Africa. In one, it is a woman with a clean-shaven head. In another, it is a great crown of braided hair. As you can see, one woman has many braids and one woman has shaven head. Both are Uzuri. Uzuri means beauty. V is for Viambo. Viambo are utensils. A craftsman makes utensils for the village. Carved wooden bowls and ladles and pitchers made from gourds are useful and decorative objects for the home. Here you can see the craftsman making viambo utensils. And you can see all of his creations. He's made bowls and what else is there? Ladles and pitchers. A lot of cool stuff he's made. He's made a lot of viambo. W is most of you. Watoto, which are children. Watoto. 
So if anybody says, what are you? You can say, I'm a Watoto in the Swahili language. Children play out of doors most of the time. Sometimes they form a circle to play a rhythmic game of funny songs, quick steps, and hand clapping. Y is for Yunji Yunji. Yunji Yunji is a water lily. These huge pink or white flowers are found floating along the edges of lakes and ponds. In some places, the roots are used as food. Y is for Yunji Yunji, which is a water lily. And last but not least, Z. Z is for Zeze. Zeze is a stringed instrument. This musical instrument is the great grandfather of the banjo and the guitar we know today. The xylophone too comes to us from Africa. Amazing. How many of us have played any stringed instruments? Guitar, banjo, even the xylophone. What amazing creations. And here they are, making their creations. Making the stringed instrument, the great grandfather of the banjo and the guitar. The end. That was the Swahili alphabet book. Jambo means hello. Wow, what a great book learning about the Swahili alphabet and words from the Swahili language. Did you have any great favorite ones? Jambo. Jambo is my favorite. Jambo means hello. And at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California, they have a show called Jambo, which really was why I picked this book because Jambo was a great show, having people do drumming and dancing, and they have a big elephant that walks around. And it was great to learn more about the Swahili culture. Uh, one of my favorites is Rafiki, because Rafiki was a great movie character for one of my favorite movies. And also learning that the stringed instrument came from Africa, which now, is the guitar that we play. A lot of people play. I don't play the guitar. Well, fellow readers, as we say goodbye, I have one last word, and it is the Swahili word for goodbye, which is kwaheri, 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 goodbye. <laughs>